Howdy, Re Desert Boy here. Hey, I just wanted to get back to you about this uh, Bond Arms uh, Roughneck and 45 ACP. This is a two shot uh, derringer. And uh, so, if I mentioned in the last video that I had maybe an issue with it, but I would, you know, follow up with that. Um, but I did have an issue with it. I mean, it shot fine when I was there, but then I noticed that the trigger guard was getting loose uh, at the end of the time when I did the last video. And of course, these are designed for the trigger guards to be removed because I guess there are some people that like to have them without trigger guards. I personally do not prefer that. And uh, for me, that, that would not work, you know. And remember, I'm a hobbyist and enthusiast only, but that's my my uh, personal opinion for me that I, I prefer to have the trigger guard. Anyway, it loosened up, tried to tighten it up after I got back from the range. Could not get it to tighten up. I wasn't sure what the issue was. Got a hold of Bond Arms. They got back to me. First, it was an email conversation. Talked about using Loctite, but it just wouldn't tighten down. So I got on the phone. A uh, person was very helpful. Um, they, uh, for, they understood that wasn't going to work. They, they sent me a new trigger guard with a new screw in it and uh, I did use some Loctite with it as well and uh, put it on there and took it to the range and it worked fine. So just in case you're wondering, maybe you're concerned about the status of this gun, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll show that it is unloaded. These are just a zoom snap caps. These are dummy rounds, 45 ACP. The main reason why I have these in here is because if you want to dry fire this, um, they do not recommend dry firing it. So, um, and uh, if you wanted to dry fire it, you'd have to have some method of doing that. Um, sometimes using um, something like uh, A-Zooms or Snap Caps uh, works uh, pretty well as dummy rounds. But uh, we're not here to discuss that today. I want to talk to you about going to the range. So I took it to the range and uh, it shot pretty well. Um, once again, this is a short range self-defense option, you know. Um, as I mentioned last time, the 45 ECP does pack a bit of a punch when you're pulling the trigger. And I tried shooting it one-handed, two-handed. Most likely the best use for a derringer, I, I guess, would be as a backup and probably it'd be good if you could master shooting it one-handed. Um, as you can see, these were the results. I had a couple shots up here, so I was doing some double tap practice. More of the shots towards the middle were at the end of the video, you'll see. Um, I actually was wearing some fingerless gloves uh, to try to mitigate some of the recoil because sometimes I do wear those on occasion and you know it's kind of cold and my hands are uh, feel a little arthritic like um, but you know if you're going to shoot it uh, without gloves on if that's how you expect to have to use it then that's how you ought to practice and that's what I always practice that way it is kind of a handful I did use uh, a couple rounds of this uh, 185 grain um, bonded uh, jacketed hollow point by Remington. Um, it's, a, it's like the recoil is a little milder. Uh, to me, it seems that way. Uh, and I shot quite a few of these 230 grain full metal jacket. I shot a few more after I put the, the fingerless gloves on because then it was uh, much more pleasant to, uh, and manageable to shoot. Um, but that's just for me. I just wanted to say that, you know, Bond Arms did a good job in their follow-up for their product. And that I took it back to the range again. And it worked fine. And uh, once again, it is kind of a handful. So you just need to realize that. I haven't shot the 9mm. I'd like to get another barrel for it because these do have interchangeable barrels. And there's ways that you can get interchangeable barrels for them. Uh, I'd like to get a 45 Colt actually because I think some of the 45 Colt, uh, especially if, uh, some of it to have some lower uh, velocity, but would still be um, a 
poked around for self-defense at that short range and it would have less recoil. So I'd like to try that. I don't know how 9mm or the 38 357 and of course they do make it like 22, 22 Magnum as well. But uh, this is a 45 ACP here. And this is single action. As we've talked about before. This is a tough strip, you know. Uh, so, or it's made by tough. It's actually called a uh, a quick strip uh, by tough uh, toughproducts.com and this one was actually for 45 um, Colt and so forth 410 but it seems to hold for me it seems to work for the 45 ACPs this is what the bonded ones look like 185 grain these are the 230 so anyway that's my follow-up and my report um, and uh, I think it's uh, it's something I just have to continue to practice with and I might try some other grips I mean there is other grips you can get for them um, but uh, you know I don't think there's going to be any that are encompass this back strap here or do much to help uh, pad this I thought about trying to put some kind of material in here to pad it because when you fire it a lot of times it's it's how it, it comes up against your knuckle um, so you got to be careful with two-handed firing because you're always, when you're trying to get a hold on it, right, you want to make sure you keep your fingers behind that barrel. So, um, anyway, be safe out there, whatever you're doing, as Free Desert Boy always says. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.